In this video training segment, we're going to demonstrate an additional ability in CoreCon to create the job cost codes, cost budget, revenue budget for a new prime contract. This method requires a estimate already created in CoreCon. The estimate can be under the leads and estimating module or under the projects and estimating module. There are additional options when we create a new prime contract from an existing CoreCon estimate. We're also going to explore those options. Before we begin, let's take a look at an estimate we've already created. From the project home page, I'm going to select estimates and RFP packages. However, this could also be the estimate and RFP package under the leads module. We already have an estimate set up. I'm going to open the detail. A couple things to notice on the estimate property details page. First of all, we have a cost code type. In this case, we're using CSI 2016. We also have selected the ability to enable locations. Then we're going to click View Estimate. The next thing to notice is that the estimate cost codes have already been set up. A few of these also have scope added. If we click on the Locations tab, we have several locations listed. And then on the Items tab. You can see in this view that the cost codes have already been selected and additional items or takeoff line items have been added. There's both a cost budget and a sell total for each line item. You can also see several items that have been added as allowances. The allowance feature allow you to add a estimate budget for line items where selections haven't already been made. In this case, there's going to be an allowance for the building permit fee, for engineering and design services. If we scroll down a little farther, there's also another set of permits with an allowance, as well as an allowance for the project owners, sod, shrubs, and trees. We go to the next tab. We've also included a few RFPs that have already been prepared and estimates have already been received from our bidders, vendors, subcontractors. Markups have been added. If we go back to the items, and switch the view. You can also go down to the location and cost code view and you can see items have already been added by location and then by cost code. Another view could be locations only. Next let's go to the estimate summary and reports tab and print out a proposal. I'm going to print this by location and cost code and I'm going to include default item pricing. This proposal is a default or locked proposal in CoreCon. Your logo would appear here. The next section you see is the overall scope and then the cost code specific scope, then the estimate. To clearly identify those items that are allowances, I have included a note highlighted in red for each of the items. You can see the locations for the concrete entrance and curbs, the school site rough grading and underground utilities, and the athletic fields. Markups that are shown are added at the bottom. To import this, you could go to the projects module, create the project, and prime contract from the lead itself, but this estimate is housed within the project module. So we're going to go ahead and select the project. If we view the client contract admin module, you'll see there's already one contract that's been added. And to create a second prime contract from the estimate, we're going to go to contract admin setup wizard and click start now. First, we're going to select the customer and the customer contact. Click Next. We're going to use the setup option titled Use CoreCon Estimate and click Next. Let's give the prime contract a header. We can select from any of the four contract types. We're going to use Fixed Lump Sum. Select an issue date. Go ahead and mark the status approved and also select a status date. Click Save and Next. Next, we're going to select an estimate. 
that's already been created in this project. Then we're going to see a few options. The first option is create project cost codes from the estimate cost codes with non-zero subtotals only. You also have a level of detail that you can include. We're going to include the location, cost code, and estimate line item. We also have the option to include an estimate line item without location or summarized by cost code and location or by summary of cost code. Let's use the cost code by location. Next option is to reset the cost code order number. This is just resetting the cost code order number or sequential order number. The next option is do we want to create the owner codes from the internal groupings? And we're going to create that and we're just going to use the division level for that owner grouping. Next is whether we want to create the allowance packages per cost code, and we do. Then we'll click Finish. Next thing we want to do is create a few additional items in the contract header. So we're going to click the Edit button. We're going to identify the architect or engineer and a contact. Our customer, project owner, or client would appear here. Your firm would appear here. We'll also go down to the scope. Note that the inclusions, exclusions, and clarifications all imported directly from the estimate. We can add retainage or holdback for this prime contract and set a default retainage or holdback for subcontractors. There's also a place for incentives and liquidated damages. Click save and close. Next, let's take a look at what created. Under the contract amount or schedule of values, the information was brought in first by location and then by cost code description. We could have included more detail, and that would be by the estimate line items, or less detail, just summarizing everything by cost code without including the locations. The total contract value was created. If we needed to edit, there's an edit option here. We can also add additional items from the options here. Next, let's go back to the cost budget. Notice cost budgets were imported by the cost code number since we're using the same master cost code list in Corcon's global settings as we did for the work breakdown structure or estimate cost codes these will line up appropriately. We can also make edits and we can also import additional cost code items. Back to the prime contract. We also have labor hour budgets and equipment hour budgets. We're going to cover how to create allowances in a separate video. One other thing that we want to take a look at is the cost code list. So we're going to go back to contract admin and go to cost codes and note that the owner cost codes were created at the division level from the master cost code list. If you'd like to know more about this subject, we encourage you to go to the help articles, to leads and projects, to contract admin, and check out the help articles under job cost codes, prime contracts, and prime contract budgets.